If you're considering adding a new member to your family, you may be spending a lot of time researching the perfect breed for your lifestyle. For those looking for a smaller pup, the Shih Tzu may have popped up into your research. Life with Shih Tzus can be challenging if you fail to teach your dog. Today, we'll tell you about seven reasons you shouldn't get a Shih Tzu dog breed. Number seven, those gorgeous coats can be high maintenance. The Shih Tzu who is rocking a longer hairstyle will need almost daily brushing. If you can't commit to keeping up with the brushing, you risk letting their coat get matted, which can be painful or if left too long, can cause skin issues. Even if you do brush daily, you will need to get your pup a groomer or learn to DIY on a regular schedule. And the cost of all this grooming can add up quickly. The grooming needs for some dogs can be extensive. You must take time to care for the Shih Tzu coat every day if you want them to keep looking their best. Some individuals love the extra attention, especially when you heap loads of praise on them for looking fantastic. There are others who would rather be doing anything else than sitting still for your brushing. You can reduce some of this disadvantage by keeping the bangs of their coat pulled back over their eyes and keeping it a little shorter than normal, but you won't get out of the work entirely. If your dog doesn't like the idea of using a traditional brush, then there are some de-shedding gloves on the market that can help you to pet your Shih Tzu while getting rid of the loose fur every day. This method is rather effective if your pup tends to be a little squirmy. Number six, shedding can be problematic with this breed. Although some breeders might try to suggest otherwise, Shih Tzus are not a breed that is hyperallergenic in any way. These dogs have a double coat and each follicle has its own life cycle that will eventually cause it to fall out and drift along your hardwood floors or stick to your carpet. If you leave the coat long, the undercoat hairs get caught in the outer coat. That's why their fur can get tangled and matted so often. You can clip the coat so that the outer layer is gone, but then the undercoat will spread everywhere. The trade-off is that a short coat is easier to brush. Number five, they need a high quality food. These small pups have specific nutritional needs and they benefit from high quality, fresh or homemade diet. At Ollie, many of our customers are Shih Tzus. Word got out that our delicious recipes keep their bellies happy, and we've seen many of these pups' parents reaching out to us to get their pups set up with regular deliveries. We generally don't recommend going the homemade route without chatting with your vet or nutritionalist, as if you aren't careful, you can cause nutritional deficiencies or imbalances. That's why we have a veterinary nutritionalist on our team at Ollie, to make sure your pup is getting everything they need from our recipes. Number four, can be stubborn. While these pups are charming and friendly, they can also be a little bossy. They can use those cute faces for evil instead of good if you don't start with training and socialization early. When you bring home a puppy, you will wanna start house training and obedience training quickly to help your puppy learn how things work and help them bond with you. You will discover that Shih Tzus are very sweet natured, but they are also surprisingly stubborn for their size. Some individuals can also become manipulative over time. It is up to you as the pack leader to be absolutely consistent about meaning what you say. These dogs are strongly motivated by food, but only using this method for training will create a pup who only wants to listen when there are treats available. One of the most important words that you can teach your new furry friend is no. Number three, keeping them happy. They may be small, but Shih Tzu puppies can be happy but Shih Tzu puppies can be hyper. A combination of short walks and games will help expel excess energy and avoid unwanted behaviors. Shih Tzus love treats, and there's one thing they love more, they're humans. Proper socialization will help to avoid any possessiveness the breed is known for. Shih Tzus can be prone to separation anxiety, so should only be left alone for short periods of time. An adult Shih Tzu needs between 30 minutes and one hour of exercise per day. Ideally split into two walks with playtime in between. As a brachiocephalic, flat-faced breed, your Shih Tzu's exercise regime should include plenty of chances to rest and cool down, especially in the summer. If your Shih Tzu's coat is allowed to grow haphazardly, become dirty and tangled with mats, he is not going to be very happy with the resulting discomfort. If his ears are dirty and infected, the irritation will be driving him nuts. Excess hair between the paw pads and over long nails will make walking difficult even sore and painful. It varies from Shih Tzu to Shih Tzu, but a visit to the groomers for a complete makeover will be necessary every four to six weeks. Either that, or you can learn to do it yourself. 
with the right tools, it's not too difficult a job for you and your Shih Tzu to learn to do together. You will still need to perform some maintenance in between major grooming sessions to keep your Shih Tzu neat and healthy. Brushing should be a daily routine to keep the coat free of mats and tangles. Complete baths are recommended routinely every two weeks. Any more frequently and you risk damaging your Shih Tzu's coat and skin by washing away the essential oils. Number 2. This breed can be challenging to house train. Shih Tzus are like most other small breeds of dogs when dealing with house training. Getting them to the point where they recognize the need to go to the bathroom and having enough time to get them on the grass can be a bit of a challenge. This breed is somewhat stubborn with its habits too, but you can get there eventually if you are persistent enough with your training techniques. If you're used to potty training other dogs, be prepared for this process to take longer than expected. Even when you have a successful experience, their size does make them a little more prone to accidents when compared to other breeds. Shih Tzu puppy training is essential if you want to take a proactive stance and assure that your tiny puppy will turn out to be a happy, well-adjusted adult dog. Many new puppy owners are not prepared for the amount of time and effort that goes into training that new bundle of joy. Maybe you are one of those that believe that a tiny puppy should be given lots of love, kisses, and treats, and lets the problem surface before doing anything. Maybe you just don't know where to start. Don't be fooled by the many do-it-yourself dog training courses that promise to solve all problems and turn your dog into a perfect angel overnight. Training doesn't work that well and, well, let's face it, it does take time and patience. When a Shih Tzu puppy is brought into its new home, it experiences a difficult time adjusting to the new environment. This can get in the way of your training for a while, and problems, large and small alike, are bound to set in. Training problems will range from excess of barking, biting of things, to housebreaking issues. It is of utmost importance that you strive to understand your dog to help them stay calm and comfortably blend in. Housebreaking problems are the most common problems in the Shih Tzu breed. You may also find it hard to achieve potty training at first, but they soon take up the task. Shih Tzus were bred for royalty, and they know how to take care of their quarters. All you need to have is a little patience. This breed of dogs requires a lot of attention and companionship. In the absence of much needed attention, they can be very annoying. They develop tendencies such as biting shoes or anxiety issues. Number 1. Prone to Health Issues Like any other purebred dog, the Shih Tzu is prone to certain health issues. The most common include conditions such as hip dysplasia, patellar luxation, a slip kneecap, eye anomalies including cataracts, progressive retinal atrophy, retinal detachment, and corneal dryness and inflammation from excessive exposure to the air because of improperly closing eyelids. While it is not exactly a health issue, you do also want to consider, because of their long coats, many of these pups don't tolerate heat well and they don't tend to make good swimmers. Before purchasing a pup from a breeder, inquire about the health of the bloodline and any testing that the breeder does before breeding to ensure the best possible chance of a healthy pup. The shape of the Shih Tzu's face creates some unique health considerations that you'll want to take into account before bringing one into your family. Your most important habit change will be to stop smoking near the dog because their respiratory system is compromised. You'll also want to double check with your vet to ensure that their heart and blood pressure levels are consistently monitored. Do let us know in the comments if you are still willing to own a Shih Tzu. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.